Hello everyone, my name is Karzan Marx, and I'm here with, um, what was your Lord. name? Thomas Awesome 55 famous YouTuber, and now, last time we checked off, we got shot in the head. You know, it's all good. I'm sure he's a nice guy, but... Uh, at, le at least we didn't get shot through the heart. Uh, so I'm still like most of my weapons we won't be needing, you know? Let's see here, uh... Submachine gun. You don't even need some machine guns, so um. Done. So now let, let's buy a shit ton of bazooka launchers. Okay. That's gonna be happening here, because it's probably outdated stuff, so let's uh got plenty of rations, get some bottled water, uh need some needs for overworld stuff, so. Alright, that's good. Now, let's get a move on, shall we? Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a, uh, let's see. I forgot that was there. Well, let's get a move on, shall we? Now, you're supposed to lead to, like, you know, the southern entrance right here to, to take this long-ass trek all the way down to the southwest. Now, this is New Game Plus, so I say, fuck that. We're gonna take the special hole up here that basically skips, you know, the whole thing, you know? And all we have to deal with down here are zombies. Yeah, these are zombies you meet later in the game, like when you get to Egypt. Alright. So, yeah. Zombie. Yep, zombies. I believe I'm going the right way. There's no map for the place right here. I just assume that I need to go southwest. If I end up at the terrorist base, I know I've gone the wrong way. It's kind of like going through a uh, mountain moon, isn't it? Yeah. Except, you know, there's no zoo bats in here, you know? Well, I guess these zombies can kind of count as zoo bats, you know? Yeah. I can't believe that's the wrong way. Oh, I think we found it. Oh, boy. That fucking blowed. Let's save just in case because some of these enemies up here can suck. I said they can suck. Suck. I'm not liking any of this. Let's try that again. It's fine. Alright, and we made it! Nice. Alright. Now, our goal here is that basically the airports are working because, you know, the fucking bombs and shit are falling down, you know? So, where you want yeah. to- so... Why don't we go into the um, uh, radio tower here? The Sunderbonds radio tower. What'd you send me? I don't want a picture of Mari Poppo. Get that out of here. No, look at the top right. Look what's about to happen to her. Right, hold on, I'm gonna move the software out of the way. Oh, she's gonna get hit by a, a gremlin, she's it seems. Gremlin. She's gonna get gremlin. You, could, you just See, got okay. gremlin. Alright, let's go to the radio tower. The, the door! Seems to be jammed by some some force. I sense this building is filled with enemy stand users. Defeating them will probably be the only way to escape. Proceed carefully and don't overwrite your last save. I'm going to overwrite my last save immediately. 
See? Oh yeah, I forgot. You weren't here for part one. That's Steel. He's the guy that told me to go on this journey. He's basically dead, but his stand, you, but his stand, Don Pan allowed him to preserve his memories and like you know, um, and like you know, on the, the on radio waves and shit, basically. Yeah. So yeah, basically. Okay, so basically, uh, I bet you're wondering, we're going to a radio station. How the fuck are we gonna get to all the unauthorized areas? You know. This is Thunderbond's radio tower. Feel free to observe the pers the personalities at work, but don't disturb the podcast. Now, this is gonna sound pretty gay, I know, but one fan fiction I did read, like wrote this off as like, um, uh, like um, oh, you're the you're the inspectors here to take some notes on the ra on the radio station work, right? Like, yeah, sure we are, man. Like you know, get a good alibi. I bet you're probably wondering what the fuck the trash cans are for, huh? We'll get to them later. Okay. Ow. Ah, fuck. Yeah, my body feels a little heavy. Good job, Speed Weed. Oh, and in case you're wondering, Speed Wagon and them can see the trash cans. I mean, how couldn't okay. you, you know? I know. Alright, now we just need to get over here and deal with the guy who's making us heavy. This guy over here, this little asshole. Now he can drop a Sunlight Remedy, which, you know, gives us, like, you know, a stat boost to ourselves, you know? Do you want to voice him? Just sound like a disgruntled employee, basically. This is a restricted area. This is for people in my department only. <clears throat> no buts. Not even if you're all that high and mighty department head that laid me off. Or the section head that pushed all of his work onto me and took the credits. Or the chef clerk that took away my paycheck. No matter who you are, my stand, heavy stereo, will strip the freedom from all who get in my way. Uh, stand user? Look, can you seriously just leave? My name is Deja Voodoo. I may look like an unassuming assistant director, but appearances could be deceiving. I've awakened my stand power. It's gonna make me rich! I'll make you grovel at my feet and beg for mercy! He's getting way too over himself. Yeah, he's gonna fucking die. What's his range at? I gotta check. Long range. He probably was just a fucking guy that just talks like this and fucking hates everyone. All of a sudden gets a stand and thinks he's all that. Dies with two then... bazooka blasts. Yeah, oh. I got it! Ugh. I lose. Your stand is shit. That's why. Even even on lower, even on like, come on, man. Even like in normal playthroughs, I can beat this guy no problem. My hands behind my back because he's so easy. And it's not because I already have speed wagon and Strollheim firing bazooka launchers at him. Yep. You've been downsized. <laughs> now the door's central stairway haven't opened, but we're not done here just yet. I'm afraid. Use this. Now let's go deal with um, the uh, let's go deal with these trash cans, shall we? Because they're just gonna get in the way, you know. Yeah. So I bet you're probably wondering what the fuck's up with these trash cans. Well, let's find out. But first, we make a quick stop at the cafeteria. I'm angry now. Don't you when you're trying to get to the cafeteria and then all of a sudden, TRASH CAN! Don't you hate it when you're trying to walk to a lunch room and all of a sudden they send you a trash can doesn't beat the shit out of you? Yeah, I hate that. Can. I ran into a trash can once. You, you can be this guy. Alright. Let me see here. Ah, as bad as the emergency rations are, just eating something makes me feel better. By the way, earlier when I gave chocolate to the refugee girl, 
I got a song. I want to find figure staring at me. Am I starting to lose it? Uh huh. You want a chocolate bar? It, sure. You should get some of that refugee girl. It's a shame to see her so unhappy. Okay, chocolate. Let's go talk to that refugee girl, shall we? He seems like a nice guy. He's a nice. He actually is a nice guy. He's not the stand user. All right, let's heal up real quick. Cause I just want to check something real quick. Okay, we're good. Now here's the thing. This boss fight is super tough. All right, but. I'm just gonna get through this no problem, alright? Because honestly, all right. I can do this if I want to, but it has max stats. It's a super boss. Okay, so is it meant to be like a little or something? No, you can you can win it, it's just ooh, it's tough. Yeah. Brainstorm? Yep, I'm brainstorming the fuck out of this. Dun, dun, dun. The girl is crying silently. Give her the chocolate bar. <clears throat> Ch chocolate! Give me that! What's with this kid? Her face is like twisted in hatred! I said give me the chocolate! I need sugar! She was the start of the garbage! You're no average kid, aren't you? <laughs> My name is Seven Dust. I am the sand controlling this girl's mind. So yeah, she awakened her stand because of the war. And everything is- and her stand ability is like one big metaphor for the war! Since she's just a little kid, she's not that strong. That's where I come in. I'll take revenge on the world that let her parents die. Yeah, you know, for this one-off character, they're bringing up all the, like, the stand user tropes, you know? You know. Backstory and stand ability. Yep. But I need more energy! Damn it! Something to boost her brain power. I struck her! That truck of bar will do the trick. Then the user that weird stand we've been seeing is. You got that right. I created these trash like monsters that are part of me. Garbage. Caught aside by the world just like our family. And you'll end up the same way after I wear you out with my army. I'll turn you into rubble! Not only can this girl not control her stand, it's the only way around. I have to do something without hurting her. Think. So think, yeah. Think. Yeah. Brain blast! I know what to do! Oh yeah, notice Paul notice on the other ones. You're by yourself in this fight. Because here's the thing. Oh, uh, let's see, where's brain? So there it is. Yeah, if you can't hurt girl. Quit messing around, kid! Just because you're small doesn't mean I go easy on you! Hey, stand users should know she's still a child. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't underestimate the power of German military technology. German science is the best science in the world. There is nothing it can do. Mm. He blasted in his teeth. Basically, the sleeping gas. Mm -hmm. Huh? Alice slumped. Alice slumped back in her chair. Uh. Yeah. I was a close one, but is she gonna be okay? No need to fear! We use this gas for all our experiments! That's not good. It's fine. Mm. Best in the world, huh? It impossible! Huh? Who are you guys? Well, what was I doing? Uh... You mean you don't remember? You mean just a second ago, I... I can't remember at all. I don't get the menacing vibe from her anymore. The Jap the, the purple Japanese kanji has disappeared. Whew, crisis averted. The stand battle's over. The shock of this horrible war must have awakened the stand inside our hearts. Well, we don't need this child anymore. I'll give it to her. Yeah, if I take in the path, you can come across a village that is literally full of dead people and shit. So I assume that's where she came from. That's heavily intend- like, heavily implied that she came from there. Yeah, and there's also another village you can run to with a whole bunch of injured people. 
And, and you have a healing stand, you can actually heal the people there. A speed finding? Thank you. Here, why would you have this to thank you? I don't remember really where I got it. Thanks, little girl. We got two of those now. Haha, <laughs> now we're... <laughs> now it's gonna make the next fight upstairs a lot easier. More easier than... It, more easier than it was, you know? So... Southern Remedy. Yeah, I did, I used it. What does it do? Stat, um, um pl a plus to some of your stats. Alright, notice that there's zombies up here. It was like a fucking magic mush. Say, so what are zombies doing up here? It's pretty weird, huh? Are zombies are here? Yeah. Yeah, man, crazy. Okay, I just saw somebody. I didn't see it. Who is that right there? Yeah. Let me look. Let me look, see. I told you he shows up anywhere. Stay back! No. Alright. Stay back. This time you won't flee. Hey, this time, don't run away, you son of a bitch. Ripple Quake. Great, he, he predicted our moves now. Shit. Now you can dodge. Let's try, uh... Whole body strike. Great, now he's being corroded. Good. We're fucking him up big time, aren't we? Put that card up. Great. Just when we were getting somewhere, you know? Why don't, we, why don't we pause, like, you know, to get past this battle? I don't know, we this one, boy. What? You think it's gonna take a long time? Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Okay. Requiem GE, what is that, sound upgrade? No, it's like a... It removes, like, um, status elements from you. Oh, okay. Alright, so we killed Diavolo. He's dead. Again. Like the Eagle Alright, so let's just get a move on, shall we? Yep. Kill some zombies. <sighs> Another one. Dick hit speed wagon. Good job, Strollheim. Yeah, you know, I forgot Strollheim had UV lasers built into his body. Cause I mean, his new and improved cyborg body was meant to go fight Pillarmen, so you know, of course he'd be stronger than the average zombie, you know? Not great, these assholes again. Alright, these two right here are the two ruffians causing trouble. Let's, uh, let's get our stuff up together, you know? And let's save. You ready for this? You ready for a boss battle? Alright, I'll... Ah, there you are. Come to get in the way of our plans. Is that fucking Adachi? Looks like you tore your way through the zombie to borrow from Vince. Vince? The girl I met in Singapore. Are you friends of hers? Tell me why you're doing this. Well, depends on who you ask. Tell you the truth, we just joined the club ourselves, so we don't know too much. I mean, besides the fact that we're almost all stand users, and we all plan to turn this world upside down. Upside down? So yeah, I bet you probably already guessed who these guys are, what, who these guys are a part of. Uh, the terrorist no. group. Oh, okay. This the stand user one. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Rawl is the uh, bl is the blind dude. So that's you. All right. All right. I'm really just ending to see the terrified looks on the soldiers' faces when they die. So yeah, one of, their, one of their villages got destroyed. They must have come from the same village the girl came from or something like that, like one of the villages. And so they have yeah. a real stigma against the military. 
And Vince, the woman who was kind of provided us these zombies, she wanted us to use Dio somehow. Well, I don't know what. I just want to use my power to rule the world. Dream big, I always say. What a load of nonsense. If you think you think we're crazy, huh? Well, crazy or no, this war ain't stopping as long as we're around. Huh? Now, blind I may be, but with my stand synthesis, I can project my senses like a radio signal. I can see things from far, far away. Listen to sounds from places I've never been to. My power is to transmit my five senses remotely. But one of your five senses doesn't even work. I guess you could use their eyes. Of that makes sense, I guess. Because of it, he saw some rotten things humans are capable of. Atrocities of war, for example, and fell into despair. No, oh, I, I almost I missed the button for a second. That's where my stand lips comes in. Now, that is an easy music reference. You know the song Funky Town? That sounds very familiar. It you, just sounds like you a know the you know, you know the you know the Okay, yeah. I mean I've heard of that song. Like I've heard of that part of that song like maybe three times in my life, but that's a that's a as a tune you don't forget. <laughs> it has the power to burn my whispered words into your brain. I'm not good much besides picking up chicks, but combined with this guy's ability, it really starts to shine. Now, by the way, I hope you get this next um one stand right here because um. Synthesis and lips can fuse together to form a stand, and I really hope you get this reference since he's pretty recognizable. Like, I'm pretty sure your mom knows about him. Oh, or, your, okay. or maybe your grandparents, you know? Yeah. It really starts to shine. Using his stand, I can send orders to the radio waves. So yeah, mind control, basically. Yeah. Not Nothing too detailed would go through, but massacre each other seem to do the trick. When the president tries to use the radio to make a declaration about war, I'll brainwash him too. I won't have you guys interrupt my grand designs for something as inconsequential as getting aboard a plane. Speedwagon. What a twisted bunch. Bastards! I'm a Nazi and that's pretty fucked. Yeah, soldiers pride. <laughs> Better than to have their lives selfishly thrown away fighting for a government, don't you think? Let's put that aside for now. I've already decided on my next objective, and that is my next order of business is to brainwash you and to make you my pawns. Meatloaf. Tell me you know that reference, please tell me. Cause even I know Meatloaf. Is that is that one dude? The, from what? You kind of mumbled there. I was thinking the guy from Aqua Team Hunger Force, but... I don't that's, know that's Meatwad! I know, I was like, I don't think so. What is, see. What is that creepy lump of meat? That's not a stand at all. That's, it's really just meat. This meatball... Oh, that's raw, it's you. This meatball helps Lips' ability interfere with the five senses that are essential for human communication. Ah, so it needs to be physical, you know? It signals that start from the brain, then go to the eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. I can send all kinds of signals to the battlefield, which is full of people who are bound to die anyhow. You are rotten to the core! So that means by attack you, those people will feel it too? It means nothing, by the way. Mm. It means I'll have to crush you both in one blow. I'd like to see you try. Darkness! The party was shrouded in darkness. Uh, uh, my eyes! I can't see! You think you can beat us that easy? So yeah, these guys fucking blow on your first playthrough. <laughs> but... I have this right here. Yeah, they're po both of them are poison. Awesome! Nice job, Speedwagon. Did you see that? No boy, Speedwagon. He's clapping them cheeks. Did 
good. We're getting them. Awesome, we got them. Nice. Damn, we did it. Yeah. Are you bit fucking Discord? Ah. I can't believe they defeated my stand so easily. What power? <coughs> <coughs> We better split up for now. You think you can run away? What are you stupid? That was. That was Does the S in your name stand? What does the S stand in your name stand for? Stupid. What are you stupid? If I was planning on running. I would have waited in this dead end. I imagine we'll meet again very soon. When that time comes, I'll bring an end to this once and for all. What? They, they vanished. They got away, but at least the fighting should stop for now. The planes might be able to fly again, too. Let's get down to the plane, shall we? Okay, we made it to the airport, but, uh, we're gonna be going next part, because up next is quite the doozy of a place. So we'll be seeing y'all. Yeah, we'll see, yeah, dead, yeah, we'll see you guys in, in Mansion Horrors, you know? Oh, boy.